long before his hands begin their labor of love. Joel Danzig dreams up guitars with some definite DNA. It's totally about surrounding myself with inspiration and almost in a subconscious way, building an instrument to a theme. One of the world's finest guitar makers, this thoroughly modern luthier has given birth to some of the most iconic electrics ever, including custom designs for hundreds of artists, like the Beatles, Pearl Jam, the Police, and this five-neck monster for Cheap Tricks, Rick Nielsen. He's not like a standard luthier where he's just a craftsman. And there are those guys that build beautiful instruments and, and know how to play them a little bit, but Joel really knows the music because he started out as a musician. A hopeful musician in hometown Chicago in the early 70s, it was his day job fixing and reselling instruments that pushed his talents and technical skills one big step further. Once you've repaired and restored old guitars, it's just really a hop, skip, and a jump to building one from scratch. Yeah. So in 1973, with Fix-It partner Paul Hamer, their new line of guitars was launched. And as sales for electrics boomed in a pop culture crazed by the British invasion, so did Hamer Guitars and Danzig's career. He took the quality of Gibson and because it was a smaller shop, was able to detail it and make everything perfect. They took Gibson and put it on steroids. In 2010, after a three-decade career, creating his own vintage guitar label became the logical destination. I was fascinated with these older guitars, the ones from the 30s through the 50s, before vintage guitars were really called vintage guitars. They have a soul, they have a story. By the time you get it, that instrument has, has witnessed all kinds of things. Toggle switches, dials, and electrical wiring. It's stuff like this you find tucked away at the local hardware. But to Joel Danzig, it's a little bit like buried treasure, especially if they've been used before. These are old switches that were in operator switchboards in Chicago. I can use it to control the electronics on the instrument, and it has the old cloth-covered wire, so I'll refurbish this. Imagine if you could hear all the conversations that went through this <laughs> switch and all these wires. I'm trying to make a new guitar, but there's a whole prehistory that I build into the guitar. Well, this is inspired by a place in Fort Worth in the 1800s where all the cowboys would go for their, their pleasure. This is uh, maple and ebony checks. And to me, it kind of looks like a lariat. So I want to put this around the entire guitar. Today, in the woods that surround his Connecticut studio, Danzig lets his ideas unfold. With each handmade guitar, he's rekindled that creative idealism once inspired by a single childhood memory. I must have been like 10 years old or something. One of the camp counselors brought an electric guitar and an amplifier to camp. I'd never seen anything like this. It was, it was a guitar, somehow electrical, so it like pushed all the right buttons for me. It was music that was as loud as a race car. Everything about it just captured my imagination, and that's when I knew I, I had to be part of that. For Spotlight on the Arts, I'm Edward Spickey.